welcome back to Cynthia Untamed. My name is Cynthia Nyongesa and this is a youthful and educational channel where we have conversations with and about children and youth across the continent and we inspire the current generation of leaders. Today we will be talking about establishing a reward system for you as a young person. Now we as young people across the continent as children we are encouraged to work hard, build the continent, pursue our dreams, pursue our goals. But at what point do we reward ourselves for achieving those goals? For establishing the companies that exist right now and contribute to the economies of our countries. At what point do we say, Cynthia, you did well, I am proud of you. I know there are so many awards that have been established for young people. We have the top 35 under 35 by the youth agenda. We have the Africa Youth Awards. We have the Africa Kitoko, Forbes Africa top 30 under 30. But this is external recognition. When do you sit down and say, I am proud of myself for losing my weight. I am proud of myself for making the effort to go to that children's home. I am proud of myself for getting a new job. I am proud of myself for doing this and that. I am proud of myself for empowering someone else. When do we sit down and ask ourselves those questions? A lot of times we work hard, achieve something, and then we are on to the next goal. And we forget to tell ourselves, I am very, very proud of you. Remember, self-validation should come from within. Don't wait for people to validate you. Because one day they'll tell you, we are proud of you. The next day they might not say anything or the next day they might criticize you. So how do you stay motivated all through the way? And that is what we'll be looking at today. I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can do this. The first things first, you need to establish an effective method of self-rewarding. And by effective, I mean something that makes you happy. You remember when we were younger, at least for the primary schools that I went to, whenever you would get 400 marks and above, they would give you a sausage. And for a child going to a public primary school at, a, at that time, one sausage for getting 400 marks and above meant the whole world. Remember those times your parents would tell you, if you get this and that marks, if you achieve this and that, we are going to take you to Mombasa, We'll take you to a nice restaurant and you'll eat chips and soda and drink a bottle of picana juice, drink a bottle of Fanta orange. For many children, they didn't have those privileges eating all that every other day. And for them, that was a reward system and that kept them motivated. So look at your inner child. What makes you happy? And then make sure you go for it. Make sure that the reward you give yourself does not cancel the effort you put in. So for example, you have been working hard for a long time. You've been working to achieve good grades at the university. Then once you do that, you decide to go and drink and get drunk and get addicted to drugs as a way of motivating yourself. You see, that's canceling all the effort that you've put in and bowing down to peer pressure to the things that you wouldn't have done naturally, now you start thinking you have to do it. And then that cancels the effort that you had already put in. So make sure that the reward you give yourself is proportional to the work that you put in. Don't move one step forward and two steps backward. Don't do that to yourself. Do not, do not, I repeat, do not go broke while rewarding yourself. So don't do things that you cannot afford. If you cannot afford to reward yourself to fly to Diani, don't do that. Make sure you have enough money saved up for yourself. Do something that you can afford. Or alternatively, do something that you can save up for. So you can say, in the middle of the year, once I have achieved these goals, I'm going to go to Diani. Then start saving up for it. So that by the time you're going to Diani, you're not spending money that you do not have. You're actually spending money that you have and you're not going to go broke in the process. There are many spaces in Nairobi where you can go to at an affordable rate. You can go watch a movie. You can just spend a thousand shillings and have a very good experience or buy something for yourself that is proportionate to what you can afford. 
and on that note the other day i decided to give myself a tour of the nairobi national museum this is because i went there when i was much younger but i think at that point i didn't take it quite seriously and i remember i didn't even go through the whole museum and it's only right now that i'm sitting back and i'm like i think i want to have fresh experiences of places that i have been to i want to have fresh experiences of places that i may have gone to as a child and probably because of many other reasons i may not have enjoyed myself as much as i should have so i am thinking of that as a system of rewarding yourself re-experiencing the things that you would have wanted to experience much better when you were younger or going to very very new places you can reward yourself with experiences you can reward yourself with food you can buy yourself things just do something that you think is appropriate for you if you want to go to the nairobi national museum it's not very very expensive it's just 200 shillings to go in if you are a kenyan citizen and if you want to visit the museum and the snake park it's 300 shillings for a joint ticket you can have lunch at the restaurant there but if you don't have money to eat food at the restaurant if you're a student it might be a bit expensive you can carry your own snacks they have a lot of sitting space they have a botanical garden where you can just sit and have your lunch after you walk through the museum and there are lots of other places you can go to in nairobi for example that are very affordable and do not have to break the bank for you to enjoy yourself or for you to reward yourself so come with me and take a tour of the nairobi national museum have a lovely 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 experience and make sure next time you come to the nairobi national museum and do tell a friend tell a friend about cynthia untamed